Snoop Dogg and D.I. D.I. Guess who's back? Um, now we tell her that it is ten to eight. What? <laughs> That's great. <sighs> oh. Rice Krispies. Midget. Midget. Second to last preseason game to the Thunder, resting virtually everyone. She might let me out because she's fat. Oh, she will let me out. I think she read my, read my lips. <laughs> Thank you, Chubster. Oh dear. Go, go, go. Go. Go home for some breakfast. Hoover's out. Where are you? What are you doing up there? Well, we're ready for work. Quick shower. Back in the motor, bit of talk sport on the radio, and off to work. Couldn't get uh, parked in the car park, so 10 minute walk. It's not really 10 minutes, just got to wait out 10 minutes. <coughs> so that I'm not late. Looks like it's going to rain. Should keep the nutters in. Indoors, that is, not in the bus, hopefully. Picked up my duty. Not a bad one. Bit of fives, bit of twos. Got my school, my school bag. <laughs> my work bag. Got some money in it. Ooh. That's a canteen. Just going past it. There it is there. A walk. A lot of walking. Not driving, but a lot of walking. Sweet. Just on one of my many layovers. Not that many. I just get a few minutes just to sit. Can't film it in the cab, so I'm on the uh, on the passenger side of things. Have a good one. Um. 
once again on a layover. Longer second half. I'm currently in the middle of nowhere. Stenning, I think. Which can mean only one thing. One thing being I'm going to be a school bus next. So it's going to be about three hours of school kids getting all the way back to Rotten Dean. Oh, that's going to be fun! <sighs> Crack on. Can't wait to get the train in tonight, to be honest. Here we go. As you can see, nice and dark. I've been on the bus for, well, since, well, since when I come back, what, <laughs> about four hours, I think, four hours, 20 minutes straight through, busting for the new. Um, not long till training. Just got to go and pay in some money and uh, go and pick up the Hungarians. <laughs> Job done for another day. Nearly home. Nearly home. That took ages. Goodness me. Hello. Hi. And uh, that's the welcome I get. Is that a chicken pie? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's in the oven. It looks, uh, it's a right Hi. Hi. It's getting changed. Bye. Hi. Bye. How long have I been home for? 10 hours. About 20 minutes. 20 minutes. See you later. Bye. Bye. Off we go. So there's some twat in the road. That happens. I uh, stole a Mars bar that I found in the drawer. Probably get in trouble for that later on. But there you go. You've got to expect that. You've got to expect casualties. I'll eat that in a minute. And. Uh, off to pick up the Hungarian. There he comes. <laughs> oh! Hey, Peter. Hello, Mr. Movie Star. Hello. Yeah, look, you're on it now. Look, that's you. That's you. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> How are you? Yeah, good. Plenty of room. <laughs> Ah! <sighs> to pretend the camera's not there for documentaries, aren't we? Documentary. The magic trunks. I'm going to get changed now. No looking. Done. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, I enjoyed it. Yeah. Swimming was alright, wasn't it? I, I feel it, uh, the power better. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think we, when we play the games at the end, the, the teams play well together. Mm -hmm. Let's get back home. You have to 
say goodbye. Okay. <laughs> okay, hello. See you later. Hello. See you. Take care, mate. Okay, have a See you next week. Bye-bye. Cheers, buddy. Bye-bye. <laughs> there goes the Hungarian. There we go. There's the final part of the journey on my own. He's a good lad, he's a good player. There's not many people that uh, will do this for the sport they play. Not just, not just me, I mean everybody that was there tonight has either been to work or been to school and had to come down there and train at the tail end of the day when the general public get out of the water. It's hard work, it's hard work. At the end of a long day. Well I'm getting on a bit now, it sounds weird, I'm only coming up 36 but it's now getting to a point where it's uh, it's keeping fit in between seasons and you know life commitments as they are. It's not easy. Probably got a good you know a couple of years left in me. I'd... People play water polo until they're you know, well into their into their forties in many cases, but I mean. For me, I, I want to play and always sort of have a have an impact, have an effect on the team I play for. Positive effect, not a negative effect. I want to be able to, um, you know, get in and prove my worth. When that starts to get a bit difficult, maybe then it's time to time to go into coaching. It's just something I want to do as well. One thing's for sure, I bet Wayne Rooney doesn't have to do this. Professional footballers, man, they've got it easy. It's their nine to five job. We've got a few players in the GB team who have you know, been abroad and done it, but in this country it's a strictly amateur sport. It cost us fortunes. <laughs> cost us a lot of money. You can see training's five pounds a go. I've tried three times a week, that's £15 a week already. And that's not enough, really. To be a member of a gym or a member of a swimming pool. So you can get your fitness in. Back home for the third time. Dad, turn it off. Have a uh, bottle of dinner. Look at that, it's in there. Look at that. Let's get that on, go to bed. Right, well that's my day. Not much left to do now, but uh, get out of these digs and go to bed. It's been fun. Shattered. I was going to try and find the light switch then, but it's behind the door, so... Good night.